Hello YouTubers, it's uh, Tony here. Just a brief sojourn at some moment in my life and a little bit more of my faith story, my uh, journey with God, if you like. Time for a, a new tack, I guess, really. Time for a new development. As you will know, if you've followed my uh, progress so far on all the social media, you would very easily have thought here is somebody totally hostile towards Christianity. You may have had me down, I'm sure people still do, as an atheist. And that's okay if you still think I'm an atheist, that's fine. But um, things have sort of changed a bit. Some new things have been accepted. And I'm going to talk about those things, because this is me now, at another place on my spiritual journey. I have just been reading the most fantastic book called Kissing Fish. And it's a book called Kissing Fish because, you know, I suppose you would understand that we tend to think of Christians as those kind of fish-type creatures or people who um, have loaves and fishes and all that lot. So hence the guys decided to call his book Kissing Fish. Well, I've read it really from the point of view of one who is not that fond of Christianity. I think he subtitles it something like people uh, for Christians who don't particularly like Christianity. Now, really, I just want to share one central thing from that, and it's just an absolutely brilliant revelation, and I'm just going to spend a moment or two going through it with you. And that is, I have suddenly realised that God can be two things at the same time. And that is God can be both imminent and transcendent. It seems to me that in the past I had been very much bound by this idea of God's transcendence, his overarching power, his ability to override my will, his ability to override anything as a mere human being a mere mortal, I or others, might do. So I had become so concerned with God's transcendence in all the troubles and trials of life that I had forgotten about his imminence. And this is the good bit. His imminence is his presence with us internally and within the world all the time. God is imminent. He is connected in everything. He's in every atom, every star, every piece of the universe. God is imminent within. In fact, there is nowhere he is not present. So I have finally understood that God's imminence can exist at the same time as his transcendence. That was a hugely freeing experience for me. I know it sounds like it's just words. I know it sounds like, oh, you can make up any term that you like. But in fact, it's much more important than that. This understanding of his imminence has led me into a much deeper relationship with him. Now, you may rationally question, how on earth can you have a relationship with a deity? How can you have a relationship with an idea or a concept? Well, all I would say is that you can. I would say that that is not just a feeling thing. It's a relational thing. I think it's best been described in something else I read as it's like dancing. I used to think that because God was totally transcendent, then he'd make all the moves in the dance. I wouldn't make any. I'd just be kind of hurled around the dance floor by God against my will, whether I liked it or not. And we'd always have to dance to his tune. However, obviously I forgot, or I was maybe made to forget. I don't know. I forgot his imminence. 
And in that great imminence, he wants me as his dance partner. We influence each other. We bounce off each other. This is the nature of having a relationship with God. I know it sounds pretty outrageous. I know it sounds almost unbelievable to some people, and I guess it did to me for a while as well, which is why I reconsidered this whole thing about faith. Yeah. But yeah, I've come to understand that what I do affects him, or her for that matter, I can change his mind. I can make him see differently or her see differently. And there's probably plenty of evidence in the Bible to say that that can happen. So that's my story for the moment. That's the, uh, the latest update. I hope others of you may realise that as well. I hope you may realise that although God is omnipresent, he can be imminent at the same time. And although he is all-powerful, he can also be everything. And that includes gentleness and love, forgiveness, compassion, beauty, truth. All of the things that we would often like to see within ourselves, we can get from within him. Or her, for that matter. Thanks for listening, people. Bye.